Always great having you on the show. Good to be here. Let's talk downtown. Whew, where do you want to start? Well, there's uh, there's a lot happening. We have, obviously, the Padres are making a run. We can start there. They we are. can talk about the convention center. A lot of fun things going on. But let's uh, let's start with the th- thing that's not as interesting, stats, right? Let's look at what the number because it's, it's its own zip code, 92101. It is. Uh, help us understand what's going on, and then let's get into the fun stuff. So, what do we got? Well, we got uh, year to date, you got 499 units that have sold. Average sales price, 568. So, what that says is we're still closing some units. We've got an average marketing time of 48 days on the market. People are pricing their homes right. Okay. So, first thing, the number of sales is that a lot or a little? It, that's a good number. Okay. Good number of units being sold. Now, earlier we heard Melissa Tucci talking about the metro market, and I think Carl's bad saying. Towards the end of the year, she's starting to see 90 to 120 days in those markets. Every market's different. So you just showed 48 days as a real stat. So a little bit quicker than what we're seeing. I think what's happening on a single family residence type of scenario, Mm -hmm. they're asking a little bit more for their homes, whereas you have a lot of non-owner occupieds downtown. So they're just, get me what the price is and let's get it sold. Right. So you got investors, second home buyers coming in there, probably a lot more cash buyers. More, more business savvy, whereas an owner occupant is more attached to the, that price. They really want their price because they got great carpet they put in. Yeah, they're searching for their dream home. <clears throat> uh, Convention Center doing some big updates. What's the latest there? You know what? They've got a lot of stuff going on. I just saw a video today. I was looking at it. It's amazing. Five acre rooftop park is going to be put on there. It's going to be one extended piece. I mean, if you can see the video here, this is amazing. No, it really is amazing. I actually went out on a sailboat from out of there on Labor Day. I mean, what a cool city to be out looking back into. So what do you think something like this, a convention center, actually does for the city? I, I mean, I read something, maybe it's even you who told me on the radio show, it, it drives, oh, San Diego's the num- top five for conventions convention in, center in the, in the country. Yeah, absolutely. And I know the number of, <clears throat> the amount of revenue that's driven is insane. You, you know what, they, real they brought in over $43 million in just that three-day period of Comic-Con alone. That's a huge number, yeah. huge number. And they're looking, if they can extend this convention center the way it is, instead of having 150,000, have over 200,000 people attend this three-day event. Wow. Well, it's, it's certainly good for the marketplace. The more that's flowing into that economy, the, the better it is for jobs. And, of course, uh, there's limited growth space. A lot of rentals are going up there, but there's not a lot of uh, residential going up, right? Not a lot of residential right now, but I could. Uh, something tells me that you watch in the next 24 to 48 months, you're going to see a lot of the bolsas of the world coming downtown, building condos downtown. And probably some condo conversions. Condo conversions saw that will come years back ago. the 10 years, yes. You know, there's one thing missing, and we talked about this before, the, uh, the landmark sign for East Village, right? That's exciting. Super, super excited about so it. So you're doing a lot for this. You're running charities for it. Uh, so, and so people understand. Explain what you mean by, by landmark sign. Okay, well, as you go into the gas lamp, leaving the convention center, it says gas lamp district. Right. Or look right here. You see gas lamp. you got Hillcrest. You've got, there, there's North Park. You've got all the landmark signs. Well, East Village, we're raising money to put our own landmark sign down. And I am, couldn't be prouder. So you're, you're running a... a what is it, a charity? I mean, what would you even call it? Contributions, fundraising? fundraising well, we're doing, fund- we're doing a lot of fundraising. <clears throat> every yep. every, uh, every uh, couple months, we're doing a nice fundraiser to build for the landmark sign. Yep. We've just started East Village Opoly. They've done it in OB. They've done it in uh, PB. And now we're doing it in East Village, where business owners get a chance to purchase their own Monopoly piece. Of course, I purchased the money, so everybody gets a chance to see my so, face on the now, money. You know, I've, I've heard about this. I've seen it. I'm not, I'm not clear about it. So you guys have to raise $250,000. For the whole purchase of the right. sign. Right now, we have 625, and we're looking to really get closer with this game so, alone. So here's the board. Now, <laughs> explain to me how this thing works. Well, what it is, we go to all the businesses and say, hey. So local downtown businesses. Hey, Bubs. Hey, Blind Burrow. Hey, Monkey Paw. Okay. All the different great places down in East Village. Do you want to buy a, a corner or do you want to put your name on the money? Which I had to take that spot. Now, what, what is, so what are they buying? I mean, they're buying an opportunity to be out in, you know, thousands of homes. When, like, for instance, when they, close, when they close a new home and they purchase in East Village, part of the gift I give them would be East Village Monopoly. And all the businesses, Matt Cleaners is on there. 
Hmm. You get all the local vendors, the district sandwich shop. Okay, so it's a promotional piece that they're buying into. That money goes yeah. to the fundraising, and ultimately it's good for their promotion. Yes. So anyone can connect with you on this. If you've got a business downtown, go to robertsellsandiego.com. Absolutely. Good website to go to. So here, here's where we're at. This is the actual website for the money being raised. Now, there's $62,000. Your goal is to get it to $250,000. Correct. So we're, we're, we're a little off, but guess what? We're doing fundraising. We're doing grassroots marketing, getting the word out to everybody. And it's, I'm so excited. Yeah, no, it's cool. Now, is there, now you're the head of the DCPC. Is that, am I getting that right? I'm the. I know, I get uh, it right. Uh, uh, that's okay. I'm on DCPC. It's the Downtown Community Planning Council. Right. I represent the business owners of East Village. Okay. So I'm their voice at the DCPC. Got it. Now, how, how are things going with the Monopoly board? You know Is what? It filled it's yet? fun. No, it's not if you filled. We to buy a piece of it. For we the still show? have some spots available, so okay. they can always go to my website and get a hold of me. Uh, it's it's exciting. Yeah, and here's Robert's website, robertsellsandiego.com. If you're looking to buy into the downtown marketplace, he's the guy to go to. But you also cover uh, the metro market, Little Italy. One of the things you had mentioned to me, I thought was really interesting is that you help people move out of downtown and you help people move into downtown. So talk about two different speeds of life we're going here. It's an interesting dynamic, Craig. We have folks that say when they're younger, they want to live downtown so they can walk to everything. Yep. And then they want to start raising a family and they think they need to go out to Metro, where there'd be Normal Heights, Kensington, University Heights. So I find that the, when move, they want to raise a family, they're moving it. out and getting a little elbow room, maybe a yard. Yep. And I'm finding that folks, the ones that become empty nesters are coming back downtown. Hmm. Well, I, I love downtown. I've lived downtown San Diego. I mean, I used to live in New York, so I've always thought that uh, living in that busy city lifestyle has been a cool thing. But That's cool. The, you know, a difference between San Diego and New York is it's, it is very residential, right? Yeah. There, there's, we always talk about the women that are out there pushing yeah. kids on strollers. I saw a guy running with a stroller the other day. I don't know how safe that was. I don't recommend it. <laughs> uh, but he was running with a stroller, and it, it really is safe. And you know, it's funny, when I was on that uh, sailboat on Labor Day, we're looking in, and, and as you look to the right, so you're facing downtown, you look to the right, it, it's, it's opened up. It's like you have all these tall buildings. You can see them right here behind us, right? And then it opens up. And I can't remember who was asking, but they're putting up, I think, a new pinnacle building, right? Yes, they are, right there on 13th and Island. Okay. A twin tower pinnacle building that's going to be also be part of the uh, 14th and Island big park and water fountains and reflecting pools it's 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 really nice it will fill in oh yeah. i mean it's it, you build you know, it they I, will come I, I agree with you i was in san francisco last weekend as well before before doing that on labor day and it's a city that's just completely chaotic right san diego is much calmer it's residential it's safer and you can you can be an empty nester i know some empty nesters down there and you can be a first time home buyer or something in between so it really is a great market to look at buying into. And, you know, we get a lot of questions about HOAs. HOAs are what allow you to have security and not have to mow your own yard and, and, and get a lot of the maintenance things that comes with real, owning real estate. So maybe that makes sense for you. Maybe it doesn't. Robert can help you move in. He can and help you move out. He is our elite of the downtown marketplace. Can also help you in the metro market. Uh, Little Italy. Great information. RobertSellsSanDiego.com. Always good to have you on. Nice to see you.